Okay, so this is the first time I've ever done anything like this before. Um, basically what I'm going to do is just give you a quick run through of the um, Project Cars Master Planner Strategy spreadsheet I've created. Um, as I know a few of you may be a bit unsure of it or what it's actually capable of doing for you. Um, as a bonus, if you are a racer, club racer, or even if you're an international racer, um, the guide that I've done here, um, as providing you've got all the information to input into it, will work in the real world as well as Project Cars and also Forza, Gran Turismo, and any other game that you fancy trying it with. Um, basically, the Project Cars side of it is what you see in front of us. This is a summary of fastest laps in different categories I've got. GT3, GT4, GT5, LMP, LMP1, so on and so forth. Um, at the top here I've created little hyperlinks so you can just click straight into them and you'll see the cars above. Um, down this side you will see the tracks and obviously the input fields for your lap times. Uh, when inputting into it, so for example BMW Z4 on the GP circuit which I haven't actually set would be 01 for the minute, double colon to space, and then your seconds. So you do let's do a 24, and then you can put in 0.657 if you want to. And as you can see on this particular one, it's gone green, which is my fastest lap, although I've made it up. Um, and if you go back up to results, you'll see there my new lap time has gone in, although here it's uh, rounded it up to 6.6 six. ok and that's the same for GT4 which I haven't really played with LMP2 which again haven't really played with I've mainly done um, the GT3's at the moment um, down here you'll see all the different types of cars that don't really fit into too many categories again they're all quick links to whereabouts you can input the data as you can see Formula A enter all your times here again I'm more of a GT3 man uh, and also there are tabs at the bottom for quick links as well <clears throat> down to them sorry um, and then up here we've got pit stop test which is basically useless really um, looks like I've overloaded my computer a little bit oh I don't know what that was oh we're off we go back on here. Um, so you want to do a pit calculator, you've got quick links here, so you click, click on that. You'll need to update that, which are here, so you've got amount of laps, fuel rate per lap, fuel tank size. So the average fuel tank size for a GT3 is 130 litres, looking at sort of 3.4 per lap, and you want to do say 30 laps. Okay. So what that's done is if you check over here where the fuel is, you'll see you need 102.5 litres of fuel. So you don't need to make a pit stop, so you only need 79% of the full tank, obviously providing the data you're putting is accurate. Um, that will tell you your total fuel used, uh, and that will tell you how much fuel is left over. So if you come across to over here, it says fuel at start, we would put in 130 litres will be a full tank, but we only need 102.5, so what we'd do, put in 1, 2, 5, let's round it up to 103, but you, if you look back over here where it says fuel remaining, which is zero, so we don't need any more fuel. Okay, so that's what that's for. In this section here where we've got soft, medium, hard, now we can calculate the difference between if I was to use a soft tyre and pit more, a medium tyre, pit a bit less, a hard tyre, again, pit less than that, maybe do one tyre change rather than two for medium and three or four for softs. Um, all it requires is a little bit of testing on your part. I'd recommend taking the first couple of laps, couple of laps from the centre and then laps towards the end of a stint. So obviously you need to test in tyres. Um, in the conditions that you may run in 
obviously only thing this can't take into consideration is rain or well it could take in fog but rain is its Achilles heel at the moment I can't figure it out but I'll look at it at some point um, so basically as you can see the times I've put in here so I've put 202s, 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 202s that probably changed towards the end um, and then in here I've done some 201s and then I've done a 207, 207 but obviously it'd be more consistent if you put in the times that that take in for yourself um, and then again for hard obviously they're probably slower as you go to the harder compounds of time then once you've selected that you've got your pitch strategy basically so your soft tyre we need um, half a tank of fuel actually let me change that to something a little more accurate in fact we can go a bit more than that let's do 100 laps okay so now you see it's changed we need 2.6 pits so our fuel is out so let's put that into 30. And again, you look here, put 130 to start off, we still need 210 litres of fuel. So in your second stop, you can put in 130 litres. And then in your third stop, you can put the remaining 81 litres required to complete the race. And you see we've gone green just here. Okay, so we need to stop three times. So we need two full tanks two full tanks of fuel and two tyre changes because you're soft you change every stop because they're not really going to last much longer unless you can test it to do otherwise um, but this is based on um, a real world simulation okay and then you need obviously a short fill at 81 litres I think that's actually count calculated on about a 60 litre so about just under half a tank um, and then so if you did the same with the medium we need three stops, so we need, we'd probably take one full tank of fuel, one full tank with tyres, and then one short fill at the end just to get us to the end. Again, personal testing, whether that could be um, two tyre changes or one tyre change. You'd want to try and keep it down to one, so it's quicker than you soft, because obviously the time it takes to change tyres and fuel is separate so you do the fuel first and then you do the tyres so the time is always longer um, and then on the hards you want again one short fill and if you can just take on two full tanks of fuel and you can do the whole race on the hard tyre but again that's down to testing you need to find out what you can manage what you can't manage and that's basically how that works and then once you select all this area, on the output side of things, it gives you an estimated race time. So in this particular occasion, we've got 25 minutes and 36 seconds, 0.9 to be precise. Um, so that is your quickest. So if you did no yeah, so if you did no tyre changes with hard, it's going to take you about 32 seconds with a lap time average of 2.06. Okay, and then 27 minutes with 0.2. And then, obviously, you've got a quicker lap time, which will give you the 25. But it takes into, into account the different stops. So it tells you how fast or slower it is under, underneath in here. Um, and that's basically how that works. Um, the only thing that the time doesn't take into consideration is the travelling time up and down any pit lane because all the pit lanes are a slightly different length. So to keep it sort of base, I've done it on a GT3 pit stop time. Um, you can adjust the pit stop times. I'll show you where that is. If we go down to the bottom where it says pit stop calculator, do not edit. Um, and come over to this section here where you've got your soft tyre hard just here you'll see I've inputted the time it takes that I've tested to do all the different types of stops so basically if you're doing a Formula A stop you can change 
the time it takes to change tyres and short and short fill and long fill and so on and so forth, just to make it a little more accurate for what you're doing. And that's where you change the time. Obviously, you input it in the same format. So here, that's 18 seconds. That's 12 seconds for a short fill. Uh, short fill and tyres is 25 seconds, so on and so forth. And you can do that for soft, medium, and hard. Um, in here basically is just the calculations that I've used and I've left little descriptions in there if you wanted to have a look um, and also here you've got the breakdown of the pit stops so fuel at start so roughly it give you to pit on lap 38 and then 76 and then obviously you're going to make it to the end okay so that's, that's basically that and then you've got your input your input fields here as well but I've simplified it by just putting a strategy input and an output so you don't get too confused okay and that one is that one and then i've also got a little tile bear calculator um, this section is mainly used for short races where fuel isn't really an issue so for example 30 lap race um, you've got your fuel rate calculated there, and then your tank size again. I'll just might be a bit zoomed out and zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. Okay, here we go. Um, and then obviously, if you're running on a different tyre wear, so for example, one would be real tyre wear, two would be times two, and so on and so forth, three, four, and five. I didn't put times seven because it's generally a little bit broken at the moment. So <clears throat> if we go back to one. So again, it requires a little bit of real world testing, sim testing, I suppose I should say. So in soft, we can do, say for example, 27 laps on our selected track. In mediums, we can do 36 and hards, we can do 47. Again, this is just, those numbers are in there for demonstration purposes. They are just made up by myself. So with real world, so if we times one real world, we only need to stop for the hard tire, uh, the soft tire, sorry, on lap 27. The medium and the hard can go right through the race. If we change the tire wear to say times three, you'll notice down here that we now need three stops for a soft tire, two stops for a medium, and a single stop for a hard tire. So we've got lap 9, 18, 27, and I'm sure you understand the rest of it. Now, which one you decide to take as the fastest one for yourself, you could input your average lap times into this section here, and it will do a brief calculation. If you want to take out, you know, delete these, that's fine, um, and it will bring you up. A little calculator up here so um, you know feel free to use it um, it is quite looks quite daunting but it's fairly simple I've done most of the calculations for you there are a few sort of black holes as regards weather but if you've got a dry race then this should generally be very good um, also with anything the output you get from it is only as good as the input you put into it so the better you are at inputting your data the better results you'll get out of it um, feel free to contact me through the project cars forum um, so I've got my own thread for it and I'll pop this video up in there and also if you are stumbled across it on YouTube then I'll uh, pop the link to the forum in there so you can download this spreadsheet and have a go at it yourself like I said it should work with um, Forza although I haven't got it myself um, and it should work with other with other versions of on sim racers as long as you've got the data to put in then you'll get the same results out um, thank you very much uh, hopefully it's some use to you